Hey everybody, it's Sarah and welcome to my December daily wrap up or whatever you want to call it. I am finally done. I am filming this on January 4th, which is awesome because this is like a month earlier than I had it done last year, maybe even more. So, if you guys saw my original video, you know that I'm using, or I used, an 8x8 Doodlebug album in bubblegum pink. So here she is. Yes, she's very fat. But I got it all in one album, and really that's all that I was worried about. Now, we are going to probably have some issues with glare, because everything is in the page protectors. My daughter is downstairs trying to convince my husband to get some in-app purchases, so I hope you can't hear her hollering too much. But let's get started. Okay, this is just a little bag that was in the Target dollar spot around Christmas. It had like a blue snowflake on it that I covered up just with some ephemera and stuff. I haven't put anything in here yet. I haven't 100% cleaned up from Christmas yet. There's still some, you know, unwrapped presents under the tree that just haven't found a home yet. So any packaging or tags or anything that... Um, I kind of want to hang on to. I'm just going to stick in there. Or any pictures that, because I still have some pictures uh, laying around that I haven't scrapbooked, and I'll just stick those in there. This is an acetate, I believe, from like the DIY shop. That is a Hello Acetate piece from Colorcast Designs, and that Magical Moments is from L Studio. This is a full 8x8 page protector, just full of some sequins that I kind of had laying around. This is my intentions page that I just printed on vellum and I got this tab punch from like I think it was scrapbook.com a couple days after December started. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when that came, I was very eager to add tabs because these and these actually came with uh, sticker tab covers. So I just cut them from corresponding cardstock and added some tiny word stickers from Stone Coco. This is just kind of a filler page background kind of thing because I liked the way that the vellum looked over that beautiful sweater pattern. Here is December 1st. Just talking about my daughter got a little tree also from the dollar spot for her American Girl house. Filler card. Three pictures of my daughter uh, putting candy canes on the tree. This is a 5 by 7 that I just printed out at Walgreens. And actually, believe it or not, I printed almost all except like the last two pictures at Walgreens, which is something I normally never do. And then I made it kind of interactive so you have to kind of pull stuff away to read, which I like because I wanted, I wanted it to be more interactive this year. There's my oldest daughter on Santa's lap, my youngest daughter on Santa's lap. There's a ton of sequins in here from Lucy's cards. This is my girls at, where did that come from? I have no idea. It obviously didn't stick very well. I'm going to put that to the side because I don't remember where I had it. This is filler cards from Hip Kit that I just added a four to. This is one of the mirrored acetate or kind of acrylic pieces from Pink Fresh Studio Oh Joy and then the sequins are almost in fact all of them are from Lucy's Cards you can find her at like little things from Lucy's Cards something my Shopify let me find that quick www.lucysshop.com and here are some of the mixes that I actually have and these run about two pounds 75 and she to ship to me in Minnesota it was like three pounds 60 so <clears throat> not terribly expensive this is a layout I did over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go this was actually December 4th, we celebrated Thanksgiving with them a little bit late. This is December 5th. I did kind of a little slideshow or kind of a film strip of my daughter reading because she is five, she's in kindergarten, and she brings home five books every week uh, to read. 
This is the cover of Tori Amos' Midwinter Graces, which is like my favorite Christmas album. Here I just journaled a little bit about what happened on that day and added some lyrics to one of my favorite songs from that album and I just made a couple embellishment clusters. <clears throat> Sorry guys. This is a little day in the life that I did. Let me get these lights a little closer. So this was December 7th. So here's just an acetate piece, I believe, from Michael's. I used thickers. I put Day in the Life, December edition. And then I just took pictures, posted them on my Instagram to kind of keep track of the time. Added some sequins and some resin pieces from Colorcast Designs. And this is just my day. What we did on that day, I believe it was a Wednesday. These Doodlebug 8x8s have some different size page protectors than I think a lot of people are used to seeing. There's, here's two 4x6s and a 2x8. So the ones that had 2x8s I just filled up with uh, miscellaneous sequin mixes from Lucy's Cards. And I also have some, like, it's very thin. It's like a very, very thin acetate from Pretty Little Studio. And then here I just use the... Allie Edwards time stamper to stamp on with pink ink the same as over here what we were doing so when it says 520 here that was chicken carbonara for dinner and here is the eighth I'm just talking about my mother-in-law's beautiful Christmas tree she has a tree that the lights change colors to music the girls get such a kick out of that And this I have actually yet to finish. Maybe I'll get to that tonight. These were tags that I cut out and everyone from the family was just going to write like their Christmas memories or like what they wanted for Christmas because most of all I want someone else's point of view and I also want the girl's handwriting. So maybe after baths tonight I will sit them down here at my craft table and have them just write down either their favorite memory or what they got for Christmas, something like that. Because even though my my five almost six-year-old is just in kindergarten she if if you help her with the words that she can't spell she'll be able to at least get uh what she got down for christmas there this was a silhouette uh design store or the silhouette store this is just a cut file of you know like a viewmaster file i don't even remember what it was called but there's like three or four different ones on the silhouette store this was a design team project for Spiegel Mom Scraps. So this was a section where I used uh, exclusive, I think they're called glass slippers, exclusive sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I can link that too. And this is just a picture of my mother-in-law's new Pandora bracelet that we took her to the Mall of America and got her on that day. You have to have them either measure your wrist or try one on or something like that. And we asked her if that's what she wanted for Christmas anyhow. So, you know... I said, hey, let's just all run out there for dinner and get that bracelet for you. And then there's the back where I just did some journaling. I just typed on my typewriter, normally like I do, cut out some wonky strips and glue it on with my Tombow Mono Multi. Here's an exclusive paper from HipKit, and I liked how this looked on the background. I didn't want to do anything to this page. I just left it. But I did add some, <clears throat> excuse me, just... Paper Studio ribbon. It was really cheap. I think it was like 50 cents because they're 99 cents and I only buy stuff at Hobby Lobby when it's on sale. This is December 11th. We were kind of poking around the American Girl store to see what my oldest daughter wanted for Christmas. This is a big snowstorm that we got. We got about six or eight inches one day and I got a picture of the front of the house all covered in snow. Did my journaling on the back of this guy here, and then these are the pictures. These are more pictures from that same day. The girls went out and made snow angels. So this is a uh, somewhere where I did the exact same thing on both sides of the acetate. Sometimes it doesn't bother me if it doesn't match up exactly, but this is one where I wanted it to be part of the layout, so that's what I did. And then I also didn't do anything to this exclusive paper from Hip Kit because I wanted it to be the background for this layout. This is December 13th. This was also a Spiegel Mom Scraps design team project. This is just that same paper, the back side of that paper from HipKit. A piece of vellum that I sewed 
a border on and then I just added some die cut snowflakes, some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps and then this is just kind of showing our card and then my journaling is in there. And there are two different tags in there. They just, they actually are doing a really good job staying in place. I'm really happy. This is December 14th. The girls had some hot cocoa after school. Another mix from Lucy's Cards. There's the back of it. See where how here I didn't do anything to the back because there it is gold and there it's silver. It, it doesn't really bother me at all. Here is an acetate piece from Michaels and I just stuck that Wonderland chipboard piece on there. Selfie of me in the snowstorm because I think we got like another, gosh, we got like another 12 inches a couple days later. Like maybe we got six or eight and then a few days later we got 12. It was just crazy. So I stuck on the winter kind of puffy stickers and then that magic acrylic is also from Pretty Little Studio. Filled this guy with some sequins and stapled on an acetate piece. Here's my journaling because I did want some of my handwriting somewhere. I didn't want it all to be computer or typewritten. I want I wanted some of my handwriting in there. This is just a little paper clip or uh, excuse me a clothespin from the Target Dollar Spot. And oh this is a fun one. This is the story of today. This was just some Friday afternoon shopping. We were going to be doing our Christmas baking that weekend. So I just snapped pictures of what we bought at Walmart and Target and I added some tabs to them with that We Are Memory Keepers punch. And I thought oh how fun will that be in like 30 years the girls can see what we bought at Walmart and Target and kind of giggle out you know like old packaging and stuff. And then I just typed up the journaling and stuck it on the back of there. So it just says story of today and this was oh this was continued after we got home from shopping we I had bought Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children so we had popcorn and watched that movie so there's pictures I finally got to use those houses I didn't know how I was going to use those and this is just finishing journaling about the movie that we watched this was like my favorite mix oh I love that one here is day 17 this I'm regretting writing on here because then I saw someone on Instagram that typed it and I thought, oh, that looks so good. But it is what it is and I don't have another one of these cards. So this I saw on the Citrus Twist like fan page or something on Facebook. Somebody had wrapped some twine around a card and stuck some stuff on there. So I did that. This was the day that we baked. So I got to use the cookies and milk kind of one there and then I just did the same on both sides so I'm like what on earth am I gonna do the back side of that oh, I'll just do the same thing here is an 8 by 10 of the cookies I had to put them like as soon as I was done baking that night I had to throw them on a tray and put tin foil on them because we had to bring a tray of them to church the next morning so I took a picture blew it up to 8 by 10 I cut out the circle I think this is Oh, I think that's seven and a half, and then this is seven and three fourths. I cut that out with the silhouette, and then I just sewed it on. I just used some glitter cardstock to make the kind of things that hold onto the rings there. And then I just did my journaling on the back on, and I think this is, yeah, this is three pieces here, just to make it nice and thick. And then I just embellished with some acetate and some snowflakes. Once again, it's I think it's kind of nice and calming to have just a blank every once in a while. It doesn't bother me. This was church that day. It was like seven, oh, 18 below. 18 below on the 18th. So here's another interactive element. You have to move this to read all of the journaling about that day. After church, we went to Woodbury to finish up our Christmas shopping. And then here is a vellum piece. I think this is from Chamel. Not this Christmas, but the Christmas before. And this is the picture that we, this is a picture that I took of the stained glass window that we sat by in church that day. I thought, oh, how beautiful. I gotta get that into my December daily. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's another interactive element. This is December 19th. This is just talking about how my mom brought over a bunch of wrapped gifts for the girls and put them under the tree because uh, we always do Christmas at my house and it's just easier if she can bring the presents over in a couple of loads instead of lugging everything on Christmas Eve. Here are some more Tori Amos lyrics talking about um, how Jesus is our gift and he's wrapped in ribbons of gold for the whole world. The kind of a neat song. 
This is another filler page or kind of a filler card that I made kind of based on that same Citrus Twist uh, post that somebody had on that Citrus Twist fan page. Another sequin mix with the two 4x6s and one 2x8. This is the 20th and this was the day that my, my mom, my husband's mom and dad came up for my youngest. It was her like grandparent day and they decorated gingerbread houses at school. And that's a little acetate piece that says stories and that was from Pretty Little Studio. And here I did my journaling on an acetate also from Pretty Little Studio. And then here's another place where I made the exact same to have the same footprint on each side. Here is an acetate piece that I just stuck on that good cheer and tis the season from L Studio. Here is, I'll give you a quick peek. This is a choir concert. Uh, so there's a ton of kids that aren't mine and I didn't want them on YouTube, obviously, or on Facebook or Instagram or anything. So I just cut two pieces of vellum both four by six. One I ran through my die cut, my just hand crank die cut and cut a snowflake out of so you can kind of see through it in the middle a little bit more. It would have been neat if my kid was like right there but she's way up there. But anyhow, it is what it is. Here is, this is the only one that is really giving me the business with sequins going away. Everything else has really behaved very 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 well there we go they really like to hide this one I should have sewn around the snowflake a little bit closer this was another design team project for Spiegel Mom Scraps I just got a snowflake cut out of the Silhouette Studio cut it through two pieces of eight and a half by eleven or twelve by twelve white American textured cardstock and cut them down to about eight and a half by nine, which kind of is what the page protector size is for this, because I wanted it to be the same size as the page protectors, maybe just a tiny bit smaller, and stuck some fun stuff on. I got the Color Story app. Yeah, Color Story. So I was kind of goofing around with that, like a color fade, and then adding some of those snowflake bokehs. That was really fun. And that was December 21st, and then there is my journaling for it. Here is December 22nd, um, and believe it or not, we went grocery shopping already for the 24th because everybody knows going to the grocery store on the 23rd is like a nightmare. So anyhow, we ran up to the grocery store on the 22nd, and this is the grocery store. It's called Kowalski's up in Woodbury, and they always have their store decorated so beautifully for Christmas. There is my journaling about it. Oh, and by this time I had already found that new Remington Silent font. So I downloaded that to my computer and did at some point the the font changes from American typewriter to Remington, but it doesn't bother me at all. The 23rd, I worked a really long day at work. My mom came over to watch both the girls and they made um, sugar cookies. These are not the sugar cookies. <laughs> my mom's photography skills uh, for social media are not the best. So I borrowed a picture from Google, but here's a really good picture of my youngest daughter uh, like rolling out and cutting out the cookies and stuff like that. So she got some good pictures of the girls making the cookies. The cookies themselves, the pictures were just way too blurry to use. But that's what Google's for, right? Okay, here's another interactive element. You can pull that out. This just talks about what we did on the 24th. Uh, this is the menu that we had on the 24th. Here are Google images because I was not about to be paparazzi that night taking a bunch of pictures because I didn't get off work until 3 and I had to feed 10 people and get everybody to church by 6.30. So I didn't, I had just enough time to make all this food and not take pictures of it. But we had Merry Mint Pie, we had bacon wrapped scallops, we had a bunch of different kinds of dips with pita chips, we had uh, little smokies and barbecue sauce, eggnog. This was that buffalo chicken dip that we had with baguette. These are some actual bars from Kowalski's. We had meatballs and barbecue sauce. We had seven layer Aztec dip and we had a big, big tray of like different artisan cheeses and crackers and meats and fruit. It was really, really, really good. It was fun to have just kind of quick appetizer -y stuff before we headed off to church. Now the stuff in here is mostly color cast, pretty little studio, 
L Studio with those little wood bits. I tried to go a little bit more traditional Christmas colors for my Christmas Eve spread here. <coughs> Sorry, we're at 19 minutes. I'll try to go faster. Here are my girls at church. This was before the program. This was after the program. My daughter played Joy to the World on the piano before the service. That was really fun. She's come so far just since starting piano in September. Here is, like, right before bed, I took a picture of the Christmas tree. I read the girls the night before Christmas. Usually my husband does, but he said this year I think Mom should do it. So I went ahead and did it. Here's a really fun acetate piece from Michaels. I put two of those acrylic or kind of plastic mirrored presents from Oh Joy from Pink Fresh Studio on there. And then I finally was able to use that Merry Christmas wood piece from L Studio. This is from last year from Colorcast Designs. It says Christmas morning, just stuck on the 25 there. And then each of these has an interactive element behind each one. It says what they actually got for Christmas, handwritten. So you can just unclip that and read what each girl got for Christmas. I think that will be fun to look back on in a few years. Here is more journaling for the 25th. Once again, interactive. You can pull that out and read all the journaling. This was Christmas Day. I got the Merry and Bright on there from Oh Joy. Here's an exclusive card from Hipkit. I just made a great big brunch with a bunch, a couple different quiches and hash brown bake and a couple different kinds of homemade rolls. This is the 26th. I already was back at work. My mom stayed home with the girls and they watched a bunch of movies. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is just me talking about what movies we like. I just used the Google images and printed them out as two by three and then stuck them all together. And there's just the tiniest bit of red line tape right there that you can't see just so that guy doesn't fall out. This was a free silhouette store design like yesterday. Yeah, I did this yesterday. And this was just the girls at home goofing around with my oldest daughter's new iPad and they made some movies. And she texted me at work and said, Mom, check out my new movie. And there is some journaling for the 28th. Here are the pictures for the 28th, me hanging out by the tree in my jammies. This was another one of those um, inspired by that Citrus Twist post. You should really check out that, that group. There's a lot of really good inspiration on that page. And just some filler cards, acetate piece, another mix from Lucy's Cards. This vellum was so pretty. I <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat tonight. This vellum was so pretty, I did not want to put anything on it or use it for anything other than just covering up this page, which this page I posted onto the HipKit member club post or, or Facebook group or whatever, and I got a bunch of likes there. Here, I just used one of those 8x8 page protectors. I, I googled like snow globe or something like that, and I got... Oh, I think it was like a free coloring page. I was looking if I can find it. I can't find it. It was like a free coloring page. And it said, you know, feel free to download and print out as many as you need. So I just drug it into Silhouette Studio. I did the outline feature and I just cut it out with white paper. So I had the outline of what I needed. So I used the outline to just cut out two layers of, and there you can see that it's two, two layers of the page protector and then I just traced onto gold cardstock and then wood grain cardstock and gold cardstock from the white pieces um, just of regular paper and I sewed this guy shut around here I filled it with a little bit of this mix from Lucy's cards and I stuck most of the stickers on the inside but I stuck this one and that one and that one on the outside just to give it a little more dimension and I just made that as a filler page for my December 29th story this was the actual story of the day and I work in retail um, at a grocery store I'm the head bookkeeper there and it is just still crazy busy between Christmas and about November or excuse me January 2nd or 3rd that's when it kind of finally slows down because people you know just you you constantly are needing alcohol and groceries you know you guys know how it works so it was just a crazy crazy busy day at work for me so sometimes I'll once I get home from work all I have time for is a couple of pictures just maybe some fun pictures this was one that I just did out in the yard because I wanted to do that same color story app 
kind of feature with my youngest daughter and her pretty pink coat and then it's homework and then it's dinner and dishes and bath and reading and then it's bedtime you guys know how it works sometimes during the week here is a wood veneer piece from snow and coco and i just colored it with some teal uh like chalk ink and it's still kind of wet because i just did that and then i just added a little bit of glitter to it and i just said baby it's cold outside this is just a little filler one that I made. Um, this is actually a 4x4 four four. We Are Memory Keepers that I just, if you see my other video, I just covered it with the sparkly scotch tape and punched it where I needed the holes to be. Here is another interactive one. I gotta hurry, I'm at 25 minutes, my camera's gonna die. There's just my daughter getting groceries with me after work one day. This was the 30th. That is from like Seven Paper Felix a couple of years ago. My, that same night, that was a Friday night, my mom took my youngest daughter to Moana. And then the next day was New Year's Eve. Here's an acetate piece that I made very similar to my, excuse me, Day in the Life one. And then here are just my silly little girls in front of the Christmas tree on New Year's Eve. And then this last page is just my kind of wrapping up my thoughts about the year and some more Tori Amos lyrics from Midwinter's Graces. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble on for 26 minutes and look for more from me this year. I am gonna, I've got some fun plans in the work. I'm gonna change uh, kind of the products that I use a little bit and I'm gonna change my whole kind of theory on scrapbooking. So look for a haul video and maybe kind of an announcement video in the next few days when some of my orders from Christmas start rolling in. So goodbye, ladies, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.